Hey yo, what is going on you guys? Kalahandro here and welcome back to the episode of Mugayon. In this episode, we're going to be building yet another interchange. This interchange is a three-way interchange connecting the highway to a roundabout which is connected to Hinabi, the woven city, and this future project we're going to be building in later episodes. So if you guys want to check out how I built this interchange, keep on watching. Before we get started with the interchange, I just want to congratulate us guys for reaching 3,000 subscribers. Yay! And as I promised at 3,000 subscribers, I'll be releasing the asset list and everything to everyone. So if you guys want to check them out, the links are going to be down below. With that announcement being said, let's get back into the video. Now we are actually building the interchange. I'm going to be placing this in between two existing interchanges. Um, I'm imagining, I'm thinking that this was placed on a later date because for the Olympics or something. Uh, a plan for the Olympics that never happened because if it was 20 to 30, they wouldn't be building a highway here because it's like the future. So I'm thinking that this was like a previous attempt of the city at hosting the Olympics, but something happened, like they lost the bid, but they actually had this in place. So yeah, a little bit of a backstory there. Um, because this interchange is actually going to be connecting to the Olympic Village and the Olympic Stadium and the Olympic Complex. And as you can see, that's there. Hinabi Woven City. If you want to check out how I built that up, the link is down below or it might be up here. But yeah, now this is a three way interchange with a roundabout because it's actually going into a direct, it's going directly into something like directly into populated spaces. And you don't want, you don't want a highway to just go straight into something without anything handling the incoming traffic or the outgoing traffic. I think traffic coming from the highway into like a densely populated space so we have a roundabout there to handle the traffic so that it won't clog up because you know sporting events and all that kind of stuff they have like a lot of traffic a lot of influx for specific moments in time it's not all the time that the traffic here is heavy it's just during whenever there's an event here so i just wanted to place a roundabout just for a little bit more of a uh, an allowance for traffic in the future but yeah I'm using uh, um, network multi-tool to make the slope smoother but I just used move it again to elevate it because I'm going to be changing the heights of these um, highways so that they would be not so that the highway wouldn't have we wouldn't have a ramp going down it would be too low and we, I don't want actually uh, an overpass being too high because I don't want to disrupt the natural landscape. So instead, I sank the main highway down a little bit and then just elevated. I made everything lower, basically. I made everything lower. But because also because the ramp going out from the roundabout into the highway is short, it's too short to have enough like slope that is proper engineering. I don't know. So we use that trick of sinking down the highway, which you might see here. Did I actually do it already? But still, later on, you'd see that. And I'm changing the road colors so that they would match the vibe of everything else, everywhere else. And right now I'm using a two-way road, like going in and out. But later on, I'm going to be changing that to a one-way road because it's not being used all the time. The Olympics is done. So, I mean, the one-way road that I used is a little bit larger so we can make it two lanes when we need to but for now we don't now, now you see the road being sunk a little bit lower to allow a much lower overpass and i'm just fixing things up with move it making it nice and smooth testing it out seeing if it actually works fine and it did so yeah i'm just making the slope smoother i'm all it's all about smoothness guys you know it might look a little bit more a little bit bare bone and complete nothing makes it's just very wonky right now but later on as you've seen in the preview this turned out quite well it's just a little bit of a shorter episode but it ended up amazing so i hope this voiceover that i'm doing here is explaining things properly okay now we're here at the roundabout thing i'm just going to be following like the directions of the roundabout like the roads will be ex extending 
out from the roundabout based on like that cross right there yeah now i fix this um on ramp i out ramp the ramp going into the roundabout to connect at a single node because that previous one was a little bit annoying and traffic there wouldn't flow easily now yeah roundabouts are great it's slow and the distance here from the main highway into the roundabout is far enough so that if traffic backs up it wouldn't cause that much issue with the highway but it actually did when i was when the population uh, when the simulation um turned on that's because i had a population i mean hinabi was growing hinabi at the game uh, the game has for hinabi has a population of over 8,000, so 8,000 people were trying to go into Hinabi all at once because I populated the city like all at once. So, but Hinabi is still incomplete, so I cut off their electricity so that they wouldn't be populated and it would just sit half full, like in the center, and it's just a for there for aesthetics. And in the future, we're going to be finishing up Hinabi. But for now, a lot of places in the city are like incomplete. So I think I'm gonna be doing more live streams where I fix some incompleteness in the city. I actually have a live stream fixing those issues which are already up. I'm planning on making live streams during weekends or maybe even whenever I have free time because free time, it's college. Free time is quite rare. So I have to make the most of every minute that I can. And of course, don't forget to rest and yeah making these smoother that's the a little bit of an update for you guys widening the roads making it four lanes so that people can go out into it smoother and it's adding an additional lane for like blending yeah i'm not a road engineer guys i'm an architect i don't know this stuff by heart i need to do some research when tackling a topic like this but yeah it's making them smoother making them yeah making everything smooth everything has to be seamless because magayon is beautiful that's the beacle term for beautiful magayon so i'm using segment end controller and node controller which is essentially just the same mod segment end controller is under node controller that's when you edit the segment it turns to like that and making things everything smoother this mod has made has changed the game has changed the game for me like and also network multi-tool it allows me to remove the nodes that cause some issues for the traffic and also to limit to let us you know have more delay us from reaching the node limit which we might reach in the future so i just hope that when we reach the node limit the city is almost complete the main city is almost complete because the main city is the main focus of Mogollon and maybe we could just build some other parts of the city um, removing the city at, at the game deleting the city and just editing it to make it look like it's all coherent you know what I mean but yeah getting back on interchange I changed those roads to one-way roads fixing up the roundabout and now I'm doing the line work doing the lane markings now I don't know how roundabouts function that much. I mean, the lane markings on roundabouts, but I think they essentially go the same way. You don't actually have to have too many lane markings at roundabouts. And especially this part of the city is less populated than other places. I mean, people don't go here that, here that often. So I'm just not gonna bother <laughs> with detailing here. This, in, this episode is a little bit of a filler episode because I just had no idea what to do with other places in the city and with time constraints and you know everything that I have to do it's amazing that we can even pull this off so next episode is going to be a little bit of a special one because it's episode 40 I have asked you guys on the poll what to expect and I think we're going to be doing a city tour like I've been doing for the like past live streams or like live plays at the end of videos there's like a mini city tour there but it's not comprehensive so i'm gonna make a comprehensive city tour on the next episode now here in the detailing i'm just fixing up everything i'm making these like the corners of the roundabout the corners of the roundabout a roundabout oh yes circles don't have corners but roundabouts do so i'm just making them a little bit more sharper with a little bit of curve with the um 
marking tool intersection marking tool and just making it all look clean as you can see i don't have any arrows i may have to fix that in later episodes we have a lot of inconsistencies in this episode but it's giving me life it function it, it functions it looks beautiful and we're going to be doing landscaping later on which just ties everything together i for the first try of recording it wasn't it wasn't able to record so i just redid it so that you guys would see it and yeah the railings i placed railings on the side of the highway to make it feel and look like a highway and yeah speaking also i just tried to um remove the pavement on the side but i decided it doesn't look too nice so i just decided to keep it and some places will have more greenery like the center parts of the islands i'm going to be placing trees there in the future comment down below what you guys want to see here at the core or i mean at this bis around the building i'm thinking of like exhibition centers or maybe even a mall or like something something comment down below what you think we should build here it's facing directly in front of the olympic village so any suggestions will help but now i'm doing landscaping and i'm placing down this con these conifers which are like stubby i don't know it's like it's not a cypress because cypress are a little bit too tall and skinny these are just like medium sized and i'm using just plain um grass here and there you know making it tying it all together giving it some foliage because this is at the edge of the city near by the hill so you know we gotta have a lot of foliage a lot more foliage and this is built like on the future i know it's built newer it's a newer highway the city doesn't have highways at the core it only has highways on the periphery so we have a lot of intersections here so watch out for more intersections in the future along this highway and yeah I'm just placing down some lights here at the corner, making it all nice and tidy, making it all clean because the four lane roads of this road don't have any like lights on them. So I just have to place them manually, which sucks, but it gives me a higher level of control with these places. And yeah, as you can see, quite an amazing view at night. You see that at the very end, but now I'm just editing tinkering with the speeds and the traffic rules here to make it all flow smoother and i think i'm going to be going to the live play to explain to you guys how this functions even more and just give it a little bit more detail And welcome back to the live play here is the interchange all done all good i think i did like everything is cleaned sealed off everyone is protected i am not doing that many detailings i have i think i'm not going to be placing here like you know the same things we have there but yeah this is why we've got so far i think it's very clean it's very nice the way the slopes down the way the highways vary in height the roads this actually goes down a little bit so that the upper the overpass is not that high does not elevate too much because it's so close to here that if i elevate it too much it would be too steep and also sinking this road here and placing these things on the side and then adding grass over it just makes it look like we just sunk this part instead of like it everything else around it sinking with it it look, makes it look cleaner it's giving me very much japanese vibes because these are basically just japanese highways and yeah this um entrance you can enter here into this roundabout you can turn right into the woven city i'm still gonna be fixing this up this side it's very empty it's very barren i don't know what to place here i'm still not quite sure but yeah if you guys have any suggestions on what to place in this place in this side i think it's going to be like you know entertainment center like exhibitions like um huge like stages auditoriums and all that kind of stuff i'm going to be placing here and i think there's going to be a park here because it's facing directly the olympic stadium so this is going to be this is supposed to be like a very special tourism entertainment area and yeah that is all that i have for you guys today if you enjoyed this video please give this video a big thumbs up and of course comment down below what you want to see next 
If you want to support this channel even more, consider becoming a patron on patreon.com slash kelehandro and get exclusive access, early content, and so much more. Become a citizen of Magayon. And yeah, I all actually have, I also have a Discord server. So if you guys want to stay up to date on the latest, I am active there, but I'm more active on Instagram. So links are going to be down below. But if you could support me on Patreon, you can still show your support by clicking subscribe and hitting that bell notification so you'll be notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Once again, congratulations on 3,000 subscribers, asset list down below. Everything you need to know is in the description down below. This is Calejandro signing off. Bye!